so the more the better. I was just going to tap into what you were saying. Um, I think nowadays it's not just about a review. As you say, it's, it's about the content. It's about the photos. It's about everything. It's about the community you set up. People love social media. They love it in their private lives. They have Facebooks and Bebos. They communicate with friends all over the world. They have friends in Australia and the States, and they're sitting in Florence or whatever. Now, nowadays, big brands like Coca-Cola or BMW are spending lots and lots of money to create their communities around their brands. They want people to talk about the brand in any kind of social media. They create their own blogs, they create their own forums, they go on Facebooks. They spend lots of money to put their brand out there. BMW does it, and they have really upmarket products. And they do that because they know that people talk about their products. When they want to buy a product, they'll talk to their neighbor, they'll talk to their friends, and they want to know what experience they've had with that brand. And now in the travel business, it's, not, it's just the same. When I travel somewhere, I'm going to have different information sources where I find what I want nowadays. And I can find it anywhere. I'll go on Oyster, I'll go on TripAdvisor, I'll go on blogs, I'll go on forums, I'll post my friends. That's how it works, and that's reality nowadays. And big, big brands are spending lots and lots of money to be out there, to be out in the social media. And I think anybody in this room should start really seriously thinking about that. Uh, one more thing. This is mainly for, for you, too, as a question, because you're, you're too young. Sorry. <laughs> and this, what, what is your idea of how the, the hoteliers or the providers are really understanding and using these tools? What, what, that, that is, having uh, a world in which I can have all the information I want in which I can evaluate information in different ways, uh, in which I, as a tourist, I'm not so stupid as some would like to, me to be. And so I can very well understand. Uh, and the more uh, reviews and the more comments I find on some products or services, the better I understand whether that one is really fit for me or not. Uh, how the other side is using, if using. Because my feeling is that most cases, they are just waiting to see what happens. But I will, I will say that the hoteliers have every opportunity to report into Oyster and explain how they view their review. Um, we, truth is an important topic today. We want the truth in those reviews. We want factual accuracy. We feel like we are the media, and it is a reporter's work to be factually accurate. So if a hotelier has a concern with facts, we'll by all means investigate and review and change our review if necessary. The fact, when it becomes emotional, um, we begin to talk about what, what is their, their opinion but it doesn't mean it'll change the editorial content. And at this point, we're not taking hotels as advertisers on the site. So we're not going to create any kind of suspicion in the user's mind that a hotel has had some influence uh, on the review. Michele? Um, well, I, I understood your question in the, right what, in the beginning. What? So the hoteliers, what, what are they going to do in, in the, in, in, or how, how are they working with the users generating all these contents. Um, well, just to make it one step up, in tourism, in Italy mainly, among all the players, the hoteliers are the more um, sensible on social networks dedicated to travel or social medias dedicated to uh, holiday and, and, and travel. And um, there are also the cruise uh, companies that are very uh, sensible to that uh, topic. But all the other players, like travel agencies, tour operators, um, 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 transportation companies, also the, uh, the tourism boards, local tourism boards in Italy, by extremely low profile on what is going on on Web 2.0. So we're still saying Web 2.0 is, 
is uh, the new evolution of the web and uh, the great opportunities to uh, start conversation with uh, potential customers, whereas we are already a step beyond. So we already, uh, in where the business is actually taking um, in Web 2.0, and it's happening not only on TripAdvisor or on Zoo or on Oyster, but another, of a lot of different uh, social media sites, starting from Facebook, YouTube, uh, just to mention one of the most known brands. But there are also um, like niche um, sites that are, can generate business, which is really dedicated to the specific type of travelers. Like think about um, the forum about camping sites. So yeah, you're, you're, you're saying that you're, well, this is part of the demonstration that we're trying to do our best to overcome this little thing. Um, but what I wanted to ask you, it, it was probably a, a little different. That is, uh, an hotelier today has a wonderful opportunity uh, of using the, the comments, the reviews, uh, all of the material that is published on his property or his hotel or whatever, uh, in several ways. I mean, I can't imagine of hundreds of possible ways in which I could use this material. But do you think they're really doing or they're just complaining for the bad reviews rather than... <laughs> well, um... They're having a look at what this may mean for their business. They're having a look, trying to uh, learn lessons from what the others are saying and so on. I think um, nowadays the business, the travel business, is the same, is similar as it was 20 years ago. I mean, to be really realistic, I go into a hotel and I want to feel good. I want to, I want to have a desk, someone at the desk that listens to me. Now, nowadays, you have a desk which doesn't just stop at your hotel. It doesn't stop. It's the whole world watching you. You have, you know, platforms like TripAdvisor, Zoovers. You have Oysters. You have OTAs having, having reviews. So you have the whole world watching you and your business. So I want to be very practical nowadays. We're talking about lots of technologies and, you know, centers where you can talk to people on the web. I think it's just very crucial that you have your business concentrated on what you would do and what you do best. An example, I'm, I was here on the weekend in a very nice hotel in Florence, and um, I was staying here with my family, and I've got a four-year-old child who doesn't want to see museums the whole day, obviously, because he's a four-year-old child. He wants to go and play. And I was staying at a nice hotel, and I went to the desk, and I said, you know, can you tell me where there's a nice playground around here for my child to go and play for a few hours? And the reaction I got was, I'm sorry, I don't have any kids. I wouldn't know. Now, if you're a hotelier, you wouldn't want to do that to your customer. Not, not just because he's going to write a bad review about you at TripAdvisor. He's going he's gonna to go home and he's going to say, hey, I didn't really feel that well there because no one was listening to me. So just listen to what your customer do. Train your staff to listen. Train your staff to solve the problem if there is any kind of problem. You did that 20 years ago, you did that 30 years ago, and you're going to do it now as well. Um, just stick to what you can do best. And use the technologies we offer nowadays to promote your product, to promote your brand, to promote your hotel, to promote your region, to promote your city. Go out there and say, hey, we're the best. Talk to the people. Be honest, be respectful, be transparent. I think that's a very key aspect nowadays in social media. So we're back to the basics. Yeah. Not uh, th these are only amplifiers of things that have always happened. They'll always uh, happen. They'll happen yeah. every day. They'll happen every second. They'll happen all, pl all over the place in the whole world. People in in Asia will have the same problems as people in Florence have, and people in the States have the same problems. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be staying that way all all the time. Nowadays you have you know you have the web. You have the whole world watching you. That's the difference. Don't be scared of it. You want the whole world in your hotel anyway. So what's the problem? <laughs>